What is going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a how to video on how to stream on Twitch.tv using XSplit. Now keep in mind though that I'm going to be doing this as a series like so I can separate this as many types of way and try to make it as easy for you guys so I'm going to have different type of videos for this certain thing to get you guys started up on twitch.tv so the first thing is going to be basic which is what you will need then it's going to be setting up your profile then it's going to be getting the accessories audio syncing following alerts move, uh, moving overlays stream overlays setting up your intermission all those types of things now if you don't know that I stream on twitch.tv I'm going to show you guys a quick example on how organized my exploit is and basically how it is when I'm actually streaming so as you can see right now, I have so many things in just one scene. I have my background music, my gameplay, my webcam, my following alert, stream overlay, my Twitch chat box, my latest follower, what game I'm playing, and my moving sponsorship overlay. All of those things are organized and are in one scene. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how it is when I'm actually streaming. So this is going to be basically a playback on my latest stream. Oh, he's up to uh, second floor. Second floor. Got him. Okay, we got this. He saw me. He's in garage. He's hey, glitching bomb. Okay, you watch one side. Watch one. Oh, what? Yes, there you go. Woo. So you just saw how my entire overlay is when I'm streaming on Twitch.tv using XSplit. You can see that I have streaming overlays, face cam, the gameplay, uh, background music, all those types of things. I got text that shows who's the newest follower, what type of game I'm playing, my sponsorship overlay, all those types of things. Even on intermission, I have an audio spectrum, the audio, the, uh, the music basically, and the intermission that's changing colors. So you know that I am skilled with this. I know how to use XSplit. I know how to stream on Twitch.tv. So keep in mind of that. You could trust me. Don't worry about it. I got you guys covered for what you're going to be needing. So this is going to be episode one of how to stream on Twitch.tv using XSplit. So the first thing that you're going to need is setting up, which is what you will need. This is the basics. This is what you're going to need to get everything started up. So the first thing that you're going to need is a capture card. For me, I use the Elgato HD60. This is perfect because I'm able to connect it to my laptop or to my desktop and just stream wherever I want to. Then you're going to need a good, decent computer with good specs. Now, I said a good, decent computer with good specs because XSplit requires certain type of specs in order for it to look really good and not have any trouble with audio or starting to mess up in the middle of a stream or anything like that. So the specs that XSplit requires is a CPU of an Intel Core i5 or i7 if you're going to be streaming on 720p or 1080p. You're going to need a GeForce graphics card or a Radeon graphics card, a good decent one. I use the GT730 which is a lot of people say that it's horrible but to be honest it's really good for streaming I'm having not that much trouble or anything like that I'm really not having any trouble at all you're gonna need 8 gigabits of RAM in order for it to really work and not slow down or mess up in any type of way so you're gonna need an Intel Core i5 or i7 CPU you're gonna need a good graphics card and you're gonna need 8 gigabits of RAM at least all the specs is gonna be down in the description below so you guys can know what I am talking about. So the next thing that you're going to need is a good decent mic. Now I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo Studio Pack and this mic is perfect for streaming and stuff like that. The good thing about this one is that it uses an XLR cable which is great because there's digital and analog. Analog is the best which is the one that I'm using right now. Digital is for something that is connected straight through USB like a Blue Yeti. Those are perfect as well for streaming. A lot of streamers use that type of microphone. There's the Blue Yeti, the Blue Snowball. Or you could use a headset microphone. For example, I have the Astro A40 headset right here. And I could just use my microphone, hook it up to my computer, and just talk with that. It's pretty decent, but I recommend something like this or like a Blue Yeti or a Blue Snowball. Blue is perfect for streaming and for making videos as well. You can see a lot of YouTubers use Blue products and a lot of streamers using the Blue Yeti because that is perfect for streaming. 
So that is going to be the first episode on how to stream on Twitch.tv using XSplit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this series. I'm going to be separating it and making it as easy as possible for you guys to understand and go along with me on how to create a good twitch.tv channel basically so i hope you guys enjoy this video next episode is going to be setting up your profile which is going to be your profile pic twitch banner currently offline banner and setting up your panels so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always this is tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace back from the dead